last time we discussed the division of polynomials using long division. We all know that dividing polynomials using long division is similar in dividing whole numbers. But the difference is we also deal of uh, variables and exponents. So let's try now to review your lesson about long division. For example, we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 23 divided by x plus 5. Who among you here can arrange the dividend and divisor? Okay, yes, Muranos. Okay, lead. This is the dividend, 2x squared plus 5x minus 23, and the divisor is x plus 5. Okay, very good. So the dividend is 2x squared plus 5x minus 23. The divisor is x plus 5. So what is the first step in long division? Yes, Angeline. The first step is to divide the first step of dividend. So the first step of divisor, so 2x squared divided by x is equal to 2x. Very good. So 2x squared divided by x is equals to 2x. What is the second step? Yes, uh, Bernard. So multiply that 2x in the first and the second term of divisor. So 2x times x is equal to 2x squared and 2x times 5 is equal to 10x. Very good. So 2x times x is equals to 2x squared. 2x times positive 5 is equals to 10x. What is the next step? Kimberly. Subtract, sir. Subtract. Okay. Go. Since 2x squared minus 2x squared is equal to 0, so I can see it. Then positive 5x minus positive 10x equals negative 5x. It is negative because I subtract the smaller number to the bigger number. Okay, very good. So we need to subtract 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. 5x minus 10x is equal to negative 5x. So, what is the next step? Okay, yes, season. Bring down the negative 23. Very good. So, we have to bring down negative 23. And next step. Okay, yes, Jed. Let's go back to the first step, which is to divide the negative 5x to x. So, the answer is negative 5. Very good. So, negative 5x divided by x is equal to negative 5. What is the next step? Yes, Mylene. Negative 5 times x equals negative 5x and negative 5 times 5 equals negative 25. Very good. So negative 5 times x is equals to negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 5 is equals to negative 25. Next, what is the next step? Last step. Yes, JB. Okay, go. Subtract it on the board. Negative 5x minus negative 5x is 0, so I cancel it out. Negative 23 minus negative 25 is 2. Therefore, the remainder is 2. So the remainder is 2. Very good. So let's proceed now to our next topic, which is synthetic division of dividing polynomials. But before that, we need to define the following terms in order for us to understand the synthetic division. Kindly read, go. Coefficient. And numerical or constant quantity placed before and multiplying the variable in an underlying expression. Okay, very good. Next. Dividend. A number to be divided by another number. Okay, very good. Next. Divisor. A number by which another number is to be divided. Okay, next. Quotient. A result obtained by dividing one quantity by another. Okay, very good. Next. Remainder. An amount left over after dividing a number. Okay, very good. So we have here our example, 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 8 divided by x plus 2. So we'll try to divide it using synthetic division. But we are guided with the different steps. So let's go with the step 1. Who can read? Idan, yes. Okay, very good. So let's arrange first the coefficient. So what is the coefficient of 3x cubed? 3. 3, very good. 
what is the coefficient of 4x squared? 4. Okay, so do we have a missing terms? Yes. What will we do? We put a zero. Okay, we will replace it by 0. zero. Next, do we have a constant? Yes. Yes. What is our constant? Eight. Very good. So, let's proceed to our step 2. Yes, for 2's. Place the value of r in the upper left corner. Okay, very good. So, let's equate the divisor into 0. So, x plus 2 is equal to 0. x transpose to the other side, it will become negative 2. Therefore, the divisor will be negative 2. It will we'll put it in the, the uh, upper left part. So, we have negative 2 here. So, let's go to the next step. Anyone who can read? Okay, yes. Uh, fair. Step 3. Bring the first coefficient down below. Okay. So, since the first coefficient is 3, we will bring down 3 to the bottom. Okay, very good. What is the fourth step? Okay, yes, Sina. So, divide the divisor r by the number below the horizontal line and place the result above the line below the next coefficient. Okay, very good. So, let's now multiply. Negative 2 times 3 is equal to? Negative 6. Okay. Very good. Next step. Yes, plantar. Step 5, add the next coefficient Okay, so let's add now. 4 plus negative 6. Negative 2. Negative 2. Okay, very good. Let's go. Let's proceed now to step 6. Yes. Uh, step 6. Repeat the steps 4 and 5, leaving each column from left to right until you get to the end of Okay, let's proceed to repeating the procedures. So we have negative 2 times negative 2. The answer is? 4. Positive 4. 0 plus 4? Four? 4. 4. 4 times negative 2? Negative 8. Eight. 8 plus negative 8. The answer is? 0. So 0 now is our Three. remainder. And lastly, our next step 7 is, yes, Damon. Step 7, write the quotient. Note that the degree of the quotient is 1 less than the degree of the quotient. The end is in the third row, give the coefficients of the quotient and the remainder. Okay, very good. So let's write now the remainder or the, co the quotient. So since the given dividend is 3x cubed to the power of 3, let's decrease it with one exponent. So the answer will become, from the 3 coefficient, it will become 3x squared. After that, Negative 2 will become negative 2x. And plus 4. So this is now our final quotient. Kindly read. 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay, very good. 